This program is part of American Graduate. Let's make it happen. A public media initiative made possible by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting. It's about as all-American as you can get. The Stars and Stripes, a small town, and softball in Turner's Falls. These are the Indians, the Turner's Falls varsity softball team. With decades of championships under their belts, you could say they have as much star power up here as the major leagues. The catcher, number 12, Gabby Arzuega. It's kind of a big thing in the town overall because we bring in a lot of titles. A lot, as in 16 Western Mass titles and six state titles since coach Gary Mullins arrived on scene in 1980. And they've been lighting it up ever since. He's an amazing coach, and I don't know if I'll ever be able to have a coach as good as him. The pitcher, Matt Phillips. Pitcher Mackenzie Phillips, catcher Gabby Arzuega, and first baseman Mackenzie Sauls are part of the team. They know what he expects, and every day they step up to the plate. He does everything for the benefit of you. He's really hard on you. Sometimes he'll really give you that tough love, but in the end, it's always for you. It's always, it always makes you better. Guys, way up on the, back. the team practices seven days a week in preseason, and they're on the field six nights a week during the season between games and practices, which last about two to three hours. There's a certain expectation when you play Turner softball just because it is such a big thing for this town. So coming in, you know that there's big expectations from him. It's a lot of tough love. He makes you work hard. And the only way you get better is by putting the time in. There's no magic to, to sports or anything else. If you don't invest the time, you're not going to be successful. Coach Mullins, or Mr. Mullins as he's called by everyone, certainly puts in the time. He stays up until 2, sometimes 3 in the morning watching videos of kids' swings. When I first started, there was, the team hadn't had a winning season. And the first year I came as a teacher here and was given the coaching job. And I said, there's some good athletes in this school that are winning in volleyball and they're winning in other sports. Why can't we win in softball? And they did. And we qualified the tournament the first year we played. Um, and it's just been kind of growing since then. In April, Mullins reached a milestone, winning his 600th career game, the most in state history. I didn't have any idea. Sally came over after the game and shook my hand. I said, what are you doing that for? He don't, normally doesn't shake my hand. And he said, that's 600. I said, oh my God, am I that old already? So. <laughs> Sully, or Mark Sullivan, is Mullen's assistant, neighbor, and best friend. So what is it that makes him such a great coach? I will say, I think if you ask the kids, I think he's a great disciplinarian. I think the kids show up every day and they want to play for him. Mullins expects nothing but the best off the field as well. Academics always come first. At the beginning of the year, we get a little pamphlet, and it's his kind of speech about what he expects of us, and it always goes school, religion and family, and then softball, always. <laughs> Gabby, a sophomore, is excelling in school. I took Algebra 2, um, Honors Biology, Honors English 10. What else did I take? What do I take? So it looks like you're a slacker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mackenzie Sauls, a senior, is also in AP and Honors classes, and so is junior Mackenzie Phillips. And how are you doing in school? Good. I think I'm third in my class. The success these girls are having is not a news story in Turner's Falls. This is a tradition that's been handed down in the last three decades. Gabby Arzuega's mom, Sarah, played for Mr. Mullins in the early 90s. You'll have people lined up down the third baseline. It'll be the mothers that played for him and the aunts that played for him. And you see these girls, little sisters, and people just look up to these girls like these girls looked up to people before them. It's inbred into the town in that sense where it's just that tradition year after year after year. They just keep winning and winning and winning. Athletic director Adam Graves played basketball for Mr. Mullins back in the day. He's, he's coached soccer. He's coached basketball. Um, he still coaches basketball here and in softball. He has oh, like 950 career wins between the three sports. His players say that Coach Mullins has taught them a lot more than just how to be good at softball. He's taught them how to compete, how to work hard and persevere, how to stumble and recover. Life lessons that will stick with them long after the softball season and long after they graduate from high school. Let's say you're having a bad game. You get up there and you strike out. Do you ever feel like you just want to quit? Um, no, because you have 14 girls sitting on the bench telling you to shake it off and you'll get the next one. And does that help you in life? Because you know you're gonna you're gonna mess up in life. You're gonna strike out in life. Yeah, this definitely. Is a life lesson? Yeah, um, basically just keep going and 
doing what you do because it'll all pay off in the end. Pretty much I could walk away tomorrow and this thing's still going to roll for a while, I'm pretty sure. And while the man who put it all in motion doesn't like to take credit, there are a lot of people around here who say he deserves it. I got a wonderful letter from a uh, girl that played Better You Mass for a little while and was Jess Bartlett about three or four weeks ago. Just a random letter. She's 35 and wrote me a wonderful thank you for helping her, you know, deal with all kinds of issues in life. She's a fabulous kid. You know, I showed up and said, how you doing, Jess? And she took off from there. But I mean, that kind of stuff is just, is awesome. And the reason this husband, father, and grandfather comes back year after year. How do you do it, though? I mean, how, how do you become that coach who wins all the time? Good players and good assistant coaches. <laughs> As always, the head coach for Turners is Gary Mullins. Reporting for Connecting Point, I'm Carolee McGrath.